Good morning, I hope you're well wherever you're watching from. Today is a rainy, cold, cozy, at home kind of day. So I figured why not vlog? Because I have a few things that are gonna be happening today and I'm excited about them and I thought I would share them with you too. And the first thing I'm really excited about is I have an order coming in for an item that I purchased during the Cyber Monday sale. And I purchased it directly from Cuisinart. And it's a three in one slow cooker. And so it all it'll brown saute, brown saute, slow cook, steam all in one. And I needed to replace my old um slow cooker. So I ordered this one and it's coming in today so we'll do the unboxing when it gets here okay. and demo it for you and I have a beautiful chuck roast beef chuck roast that I purchased yesterday when I went grocery shopping at HEB and I will just cook it the way I typically would cook a roast but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that and cook this chuck roast in it and I'll show you how I do that. And then so number one, we'll have like the Cuisinart unboxing. So while I was H at HEB, I picked up a beautiful tree, Christmas tree wreath with a red bow. And so I'm going to put that, I put that in my bathroom. So I'll show you that. And it smells so wonderful in there. What do is I have to go out in the garden and you'll see why. And I will also, while we're out there, I'll give you a new, a new update. So the garden looks pretty sad because it's winter, you know, and right now it's dreary and, you know, they're getting rain, which is great. Um, but, you know, each plant is kind of doing its own thing. Even like my milkweeds are going to seed and I'm going to be using those seeds and planting them in a pot on my deck. So I kind of try to remember. Sometimes I just do stuff like all the time and I'm thinking I could have filmed this, but I'm just not there in the habit of doing it. So... But I'll definitely do the garden update while I'm out there today in between the little rain showers. Um, quite a bit of sales in my Poshmark closet. I need to pack those up to ship them out today. And I'll, I guess I'll show you. Some people are interested in seeing like what sells. So I'll show you what's sold. These are all thrifted items. Um, so in my Poshmark closet. Let's see. I also have a few little hard goods that I thrifted recently and some dresses that I thrifted recently and I'll share those. It'll be super fun. I think Bella, Bella's down here. I think she wants to say hi. So I'm sure I'll have little clips of her throughout the vlog. She follows me around all day long and she's the cutest little hi. thing. She's a little uh, teacup Yorkie if you've never seen Bella. His name is, her name is Isabella, but I just call her Bella. Let's go ahead and get started with me pulling what's sold from my Poshmark closet and we'll go ahead and pack those up but I'll share with you what sold before I do and we'll just take it from there. So let's go into my office. 
Okay, we're now in my office, and I want to start with the first item that sold in my Poshmark closet were these black leather fry boots with a three and a half inch heel, and they were size seven, and they sold for $38. So one tip is I always like to just buff them real good before I pack them up. I will wrap each one in craft paper, and then I will put it in a USPS shoebox and drop it off at the post office, or if your mailman comes to your house, you can schedule a pickup. But I live out in the country, so I do go in and scan them myself at the USPS, and then they start tracking, and they're on their way. And once the buyer receives the item, they have about three days to inspect, make sure everything's okay, and then they accept, and the funds are released into your account. That's kind of a little bit how it works in a nutshell on Poshmark, in case you're interested. And if you ever have questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, okay, so moving along, the next item that sold were, I'm looking at my phone, Victoria's Secret um, Sport Knockout Black Legging Size Medium. And these, were, uh, these sold for eight. Now... Another tip is let your family and friends all know that you sell on Poshmark if that's what it, if that's what you do. And so this was donated to me by a family member and you know she's like you can either donate them if you can't sell them or sell them. So I can sell them. So I did and they sold for $8. So that's very happy. I'm very happy with that. The next item to sell were these Cabby Contemporary Fit Denim Jeans, size 10, and they sold for $16. Cabby is an okay seller for me, doesn't bring a real great profit, but it is a good seller, and I do pick up Cabby jeans, and um, these have like a double button, and some really cute pockets on the back, and they're fun flare. So... Just really cute pair of jeans. These, like I said, sold for $16. And I'm kind of clearing out my closet still, especially summer items and items that might be a little trickier or challenging to sell, which this one is um, the brand I love. I will always pick it up, Club Monaco. But this was a size 2. So it's a really pretty blush dress. And it's just a minimalist type of dress with one little ruffle. And um, this one did sell for $14. I really let it go at that price because I could have held on to it longer to get more. I would had to relist it. It did have a lot of likes. And so I look at those things before I relist. And, you know, I look at what could I possibly get. And I know from my experience of selling for over a year on Poshmark is that very small sizes like size five boots too are very ch hard to sell they take a little bit longer because it's not a common size so moving along and the next item that sold was this wilford aritzia wool blend cardigan sweater fuchsia and this sold for 23 which is very low and that means i bought it for myself and i just really did not feel that I was going to use it enough, so I went ahead and sold it. So I'm very happy to get my money back. Um, okay, the next item to sell is super fun because it puts me in that Christmas festive mood, and I cannot wait. But I felt like when I saw the label, I was just so like, oh my god, that's a fun one. It was pink, so I knew it was Betsy Johnson, but I saw Torrid, and I'm like, oh, Torrid Betsy Johnson collab. Um, this flannel is so beautiful and like it's like a skater skirt so beautiful beautiful skirt and this one sold for $24 so not bad um super excited to wrap these babies up and I'm gonna do that right now I'm going to wrap pack these guys up because um I have to do that <laughs> that's like priority every day in my business is to see what's sold each day and then pull the salt out and pack them up get them in their boxes with the labels printed out that Poshmark sends me super easy put it on the box ready to go scans in boom so I'm gonna be taking care of that and that'll take me another I mean I take my time put on some music 
and I just enjoy the process. And so I just imagine I'm wrapping a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. And I'll be right back with you and we will, oh, I received the Cuisinart. So I'm so excited to get this done and then we'll go ahead and I will do the unboxing because I've it's perfect timing. I want to test it out. So I got here early enough. We're going to go ahead and unbox that. And I'm going to get uh, my rose started and all of that before noon. So if I can get this done, I'll be right back with you. I was in the market for a new crock pot. So I got this one on Cyber Monday special. So I just got it in. I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to cook a, I'm going to cook a chuck roast in it. So I'll show you how I do that.
Okay, now I'm ready to show you the haul that I just recently purchased. I went thrifting at Goodwill and every Tuesday is senior discount. So I get 30% off of the price that is listed on each item. So the first item that I thrifted was a Lily Pulitzer. One of my faves. sells really quickly and usually it's like a shirt, a top, or a skirt. This one is a skirt. Skirt. And skirts sell well. <laughs> so let me show you. It has the little flap and then it has the little shorts underneath and it zips on the side. And then the back has no pocket so it makes a really sleek look. This skirt would have looked adorable with that um, cardigan that I just showed you that just shipped out. So size 4, so it's a pretty small size, but I am excited to list this later today um, and see how well it actually will sell. Because it's a squirt, I've never had one of those to sell yet, so we shall see. The next item is a dress, a size medium by Madewell. I do love that brand. So again, two of my favorite brands so far I found, a Madewell. This is like a linen blend dress. The price was $8.49. Just realized I didn't tell you the price of the squirt. The Lily Pulitzer squirt was $8.99, making my price around seven. And this one, was about the same, so made well dress. It's a baby doll type, so very flowy, comfy. It has pockets, could be worn during maternity, like during maternity wear, so very, very excited to find that one. Okay, and another one in kind of the same peachy color, which does very, very well in my closet. Um, let's see. The brand A-S-T-R, all capitals, and then it says the, the label underneath that. And this one is a size medium, and it was the same, $8.49, so it puts it about $7 for me. So it has like off the shoulder, off the shoulder elastic, and then it has like the gauzy see-through eyelet and then elastic at the waist and elastic at the bottom of the sleeves and see-through sheer sheer sleeves absolutely gorgeous dress and it is lined of course so super super cute dress excited to list this one as well so pretty great great Next item is new with tag and by river island and it's a plus size size uk 16. i do not know yet what that is us but super beautiful dress so let me let me kind of fix it for you to see again it has the sheer sleeves very sheer and roughly i guess people are clearing out their closets from summer which is fine with me because New with tag, yes. Let's see the price at Goodwill was eleven forty nine, and thirty percent off. So there's that beautiful maxi dress, new with tag. And then the next dress and the last one in this haul was the Nasty Gal. I have never sold this brand. I do know it's pretty popular. When I saw the uniqueness of the print, strapless zips in the back mini skirt that deep red can be definitely worn around christmas time and it has navy or royal blue and then it has like a nude lining underneath which i like because it allows the print to really pop and contrast and then with like a really cute little jacket up to the waist would be super adorable or you can even dress it down with like a blue jean jacket. So that one is really cute. And that's by Nasty Gal. And that one is, it could be, it's like new without tag. Because it has that, but it doesn't have a tag. And it's a size small. So it's going to be another one that's a small size. But let me see, US size 2. Again, like the Club Monaco. But it only was like $7 my cost. So I, I know that it will sell for a good profit so i picked that up and that's kind of you know my tips to you are like 
if you don't really know brands yet, you can pretty much know quality, you know, and like I look through and you'll, this will stick out when you're thrifting. Um, you know, this will stick out. So that's really how I spot these. You know, this one is just randomly. Again, this, I would see the linen in it and I would grab it. This sticks out. I know. When I see this, I'm like running. <laughs> Lily Blitzer. <laughs> and so you, and when I see pink labels, because as you saw, when I saw the Torrid, the Betsy Johnson, I was like, oh, pink, Betsy Johnson. So pink, Lily Blitzer. So maybe look for a little pink label if you're new. So trying to offer you a few tips throughout the video vlog. Um, so here are the dresses I thrifted and I mentioned I had a few candles. If not, I have a few candles I thrifted. So the way I'm going to do that and I'm going to give you a little sneak peeks of the roast as we do this, but I'm just going to put some soft music on. It's a like gloomy little day. I just love it. I'm going to put on some music, probably some Christmas jazz or something. And then I'm just going to take each candle and go and place it where I think it would be best in my home. And I'll just let you see, just let you see that little process. And then um, from there, we'll just say our, see you soon. I have a video I'm working on and it's gonna be ready in a few days and it's gonna be so fun and celebration. So super excited to share that one with you as well. But I just definitely want to spend the day with you and I hope you enjoy spending the day with me after this I so I'm going to share the candles place them throughout my home I'm going to check on the roast and then I'm going to make a cold brew and I'm going to go and start listing these dresses in my Poshmark closet and I always have my Poshmark closet and coupon code and coupon code in the description box below. Please let me know uh, what was your favorite dress or your favorite item that I thrifted in this haul and I would love to hear from you and um, I'd love for you to subscribe and I you know, also just want to stop and say that you know during this time of year where everyone seems joyous and, and celebrating and families together and maybe the season of your life you find yourself alone and you just don't even want to put up a tree. You know, can I inspire you and encourage you that I've been there and I want you to feel seen and heard and know that you're never alone. You're never alone. I know when I'm going through something dark and lonely and depressing, I feel alone like no one can understand. But I've been there and even if you just, I thrifted this little tree and you know, even if you go thrifting and find a little tree for a few dollars at Google or your local thrift store and it has lights, put lights on it and do a few little things for yourself and get yourself a little a, a wreath that smells, put it in your bathroom. Do things like that or just even a piece of uh, you know Christmas tree and branch that from garland and you could just hang it up but take care of yourself even if no one else is around you you know during that season of my life when my kids were grown and I was divorced I was alone I was so sad this was the hardest time for me this was like the entire this was like the most difficult emotionally challenging time and I didn't want to be around any other, any other family because I was so sad and I talked to my doctor and you definitely can, you know, get help through that time, but there's things you can do too. You know, there's little pet pick me ups, put on some music. I'm going to let you enjoy some real soft Christmas music and then encourage you and in, invite you to go purchase a little tree somewhere, go out thrifting, let the music festivities just get you you know, you don't have to be around anyone and just, but just go and then make sure you always bring something home, even if it's for like $2. So I hope that will inspire you. And I want to say that if you want us to pray for you, to just lift you up, please don't be shy. Write it in the comments. When you do, you'll realize that you're not alone. People will just rally around you and lift you up and say, I've been there too. It's going to be okay. And cheer you on. So let this, I would love for this, um, channel this to be a community where we can lift each other up and be empowered women so let's do that let's go out and be empowered let's go out and spread holiday cheer and joy so i'm gonna go and quit chatting that was supposed to be my coffee chit chat but i didn't do that so 
I guess it was just still needing to come out and hope it inspired you or some if you're watching or someone you might know share it with them so I'm gonna go ahead and check on my pot roast I'm going to get these listed and work on the video that I'm gonna share with you next and I will see you soon make sure to subscribe and say hi bye now